during eclipses, the, the moon just about covers the sun. This means that they have the same angular diameter. The diameter of the moon is exactly the same as the diameter of the sun. <clears throat> In fact, this is one of, the, of his drawings that ha have been found later, uh, done by the Arabs, and then it came back to Greeks as well. OK, so if this is the moon and this is the sun, and uh, they have the same angular diameter, so this angle is the same for both <coughs> objects, then if the sun is 19 times the distance of the moon, then his radius of the sun must be 19 times the radius of the moon. And uh, I think this is now where the genius comes in. If you have two bodies rotating around each other, then the light and less massive body rotates and goes around the more massive one. And this is how Aristarchus, about um, 2,200 years ago, he discovered the heliocentric uh, system. Everybody was believing that the Earth is the center of the universe because every morning you see the sun rising from the east, setting in the west, the stars, the planets, the moon, all everywhere. What is the, it is logical to assume that the Earth is in the middle. Now, this idea of Aristarchus did not go through, I think, under the shadow of the great Aristotle, who couldn't believe that the good God could not put man on the center of his creation. So the knowledge was lost, except it was written down. Ptolemy uh, transferred it to us through Almagest. And uh, now we think that we know how he discovered it.